Hi there, this is day four of week eight of 52 weeks of vlogging. It's Thursday night, it's like 11 at night, and I could have done this an hour and a half ago, but I didn't, and I've got tons of stuff to do for tomorrow. I'm taking the kidlets on a play date, and I'm also kind of babysitting for part of that play date. The kidlets are excited, it's gonna be a fun day, and I have tons of stuff I need to do ahead of time, and instead I watched a little bit of TV. And I don't know why exactly I did that, but I do that a lot. Like, if I have a deadline to meet, I'll get started ahead of time, and then I'll kind of wiffle waffle around for a while, and then, like, a little while before, I'll suddenly pull it all together. Unless you're my editor, in which case I totally meet all my deadlines on time with plenty of time to spare. That's actually true. I'm not making it up at all. But with other deadlines, like stuff like the kidlet has choir tomorrow and needs a certain outfit, or another kidlet's going to a party and because of kidlet's food issues I have to send kidlet's own cake with kidlet, so I need to make a cake. Stuff like that kind of thing. I can't do it ahead of time! I don't know why! I just can't. I can't do it. And I find it really hard to get motivated when I have a deadline like that. It's like, oh, an obligation! Oh, ah! let's watch TV. And I don't know what the deal is. It's like, is it because it's someone else's deadline that I'm having to meet? Or is it because it's like not something that I necessarily chose? Like I didn't plan to have kidlets with food issues, so I didn't plan to have to make birthday cakes all the time. But I love my kidlets, so I don't really mind making special food so that they can go to parties and have play dates. It's just... I don't know. It's like, I know I have to do it, so I freeze. I don't really get that. But I have found a couple things that motivate me, and I know I'm not the only one like this, so I thought I'd share. Thing number one, make a list. If I see it written down, and I can go down the list, and I can go, I could do that fast, I could do that fast, I could do that fast, tick, tick, tick. Ah, I love ticking things off lists. I don't know if you've ever heard this before, but ticking things off lists is seriously motivating. Thing number two is prioritizing. For example, my list of things to do tonight includes doing laundry so that the kidlets will have clothes to wear. Gotta do that one. Setting out some food to take with us because it's not a good idea to take the kidlets anywhere unless I also take along some food because allergies. Getting some board games and other things together because the younger kidlet is significantly younger than the older kidlet and the older kidlet is pretty much the same age as the other kidlet that they're going to be playing with. So gotta have something for the younger guy to do to keep him happy. Packing up my laptop and my recording equipment and all of that stuff in case I have to vlog from the play date. Washing my hair, that could take a while. Okay, so on that list, the laundry thing and the food thing and the board game thing, those are the three most important things. And then the other things can kind of they can kind of go by the wayside a little bit. It's not so important that I have to get those things done. And that really helps me get motivated to get off my butt and get moving. Number three, bribery. I offer myself a reward, like hot chocolate or decadent decaf coffee. Decaf, because it's after 11 at night and I really love the taste of coffee, but I still don't want to be awake at four o'clock in the morning. So those are my three tips for getting yourself motivated when you're feeling paralyzed by obligation and deadlines. If you have any tips, share them in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.